TUK basically came together. Um, we known each other for several years as individual artists, and I used to do my solo performances, and I had collabs with each one of these artists. And I realized that the performances that we did, everybody brought something to the table different that people loved. So I felt that we collectively needed to come together as a group. And from. I'm from New York City, Far Rockaway, Queens, born and raised. And I was inspired by music from um, basically before I started doing, before I rap, I was a dancer. So I used to be a backup dancer for upcoming rap artists, singers back in high school. And um, I always wanted to be in the forefront. But I was, at that time, I was behind. So I felt like I wanted to be that person in the front end. That really inspired me to want to be Mr. Woods. Like, because I love performance, but I wanted to be the star of the show. So dancing for me and being in the back, that wasn't my cup of tea. So that's what basically inspired me. And you know, I danced for a rapper um, from Brooklyn, and he was really dope. Like his lyrical content, the way he made records, he wanted me to write, and that's how we came around. My musical achievements. Um, my claim of fame basically is when I wrote the song No Pigeons, which was originally entitled No Vultures. Um, I did a collaboration with the Sporty Thieves from New York City. The record went gold in the States, platinum overseas in New Zealand, um, international, uh, worldwide. Billboard topper for seven, for seven weeks straight, beating out TLC No Scrubs. Um, and that's what put me in the game. In the group TUK, I bring to the table, I love to perform. Performance is my thing. It's giving me one mic, a platform, and I'm gonna turn up. Like, I, I love to perform. Like, if you ever see me and the team, and you see me on stage, I'm just, my energy, like people ask me, do you get, do you get nervous before you do a show? And I'm like, no, nah, I don't get nervous, I just get anxiety. And it's great anxiety, because it's like my blood is pumping, my adrenaline is flowing, and I'm so ready to turn up. So I'm really like the performer of the crew, you know what I'm saying? Like I bring that element that everybody going to shine, but Mr. Woods is going, I'm going to turn up. I'm going to turn up. Yo, what up, it's your boy Harry Spears right now, and you got my man behind the cam, Ciroc Boy Marcus. Make sure y'all support him. Up and coming filmmaker might be the next Spike Lee, next Spielberg, whomever, man. And if you blow up, man, remember your boy, okay? Much love. Yo, it's me, man. <laughs> what I'm saying? Kirk Sessa, Kingston, Jamaica, in the house, you know what I mean? TUK, the movement. Um, down with TUK, the movement. Super group, mash up the place, man. Every time, everywhere we go. Murder mission, bodies count, everywhere. How did TUK come together? So TUK um, came together with um, the idea of me, Mr. Woods, um, Bronze and Juske. Me, Bronze and Woods was in the studio one time recording, listening to tracks. They knew each other from a long time. And um, me and Styles knew each other, which is brethren's with Mr. Woods. So, you know, they linked up, we linked up, everything linked up, and then we did the song Bees like that, and then we realized, yo, this could be something big, man. You know, we always did shows together and stuff like that, so it made sense. You know, the vibes was there, the vibes just mesh, you know, so that's how it came up. They are you just came. Call him up, say yo, we just formed a group, you in it. You down? Alright, cool. So we just make it happen. You know? My music achievements I had the opportunity. One day my brother heard me singing in my bedroom. Um and he was like, Was that you singing? And I was like, Yeah. He was like, No, do it again. So I did it again, and he was like, yo, would you, you ever thought about doing music? I was like, sure, why not? 
So he was dead serious, man. He raised up money. We went to Jamaica. I was uh, in high school then, back and forth. He was recording with Luke D, uh, Sly and Robbie Pinchers. I uh, was at Budger Studio. We was with um, Wayne Wanda. Yo, it was it was amazing. So that's that's that. Okay, what do I bring to the table? So I bring energy. Um, I bring character to the group, stability to the group. Um, as they as they all will tell you that on the ears, try to hear everybody's side and then let it make sense to everybody so we can all stay focused on it. the matter of how much is music and entertain the people. That's what I bring to TUK. So describe the TUK sound. Now the TUK sound is a distinctive sound, you know? Um, I would say it was it's more of an infusion, as you heard the other brothers them say. Um, to me it's an antidote, it's a remedy of what's missing right now. It's a rap boy market ventilation. Oh I know you're too busy. Yeah. My name is Just K, and I am one fourth of the group TUK. One fourth of the group TUK, Turn of Kings. And the group TUK, what I bring to the table. Just K brings to the table producing, um, songwriting, engineering, videography, um, just all, you know, performance. Um, stage presence, you know, um, brotherly love, you know, all that and above. I just, you know, I like to inspire my brothers, man, and do what we do, man. So, you know what I mean? Bringing encouragement, you know what I'm saying? That's what I bring to the table. It's the best for doing live shows. Excitement, energetic, emotional, fun, crazy, wow. You know, especially after the show. Hit me up, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, but for real, like after the show, man, like it's just. You know, we don't do nothing after the show. I'm just supposed to be chilling But for real, man, um, the TUK show, man, it's, it's, it ain't no party like a TUK party. It's like TUK party don't stop. So, you know what I mean? That's, that's, just, that's just what we do. They gonna love us, you guys. The meaning of the record better was there. How did that come with my verse? Well, the, the song was already done. Woods and Bronze was already on it. I happened to hear it. I don't know if they was going to use it or not, but what ended up happening was I just kept bringing it up. It's like, man, yo, man, I want to hear that song because I like it. You know, and I think it was going on one of their projects. But then they ended up with Kirk on the song. You know, um, you know he had his reggae thing going on in there. So they sent it to me. Everybody kept saying hey, that I need to put a verse on it. At first, I didn't hear it. So I was like, all right, send me the song, let me just listen to it. And when they sent it to me, I, I kept hearing Wu-Tang. I was like, man, I swear if I, you know, I sang, I sang the melody on there, but I still wasn't feeling it. Because I wanted people to know exactly where, that, where it came from. You know what I mean? So, you know, Bronze was like, no, don't touch my beat. You know, leave it. No, 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 I don't want to be whack. I don't want you to mess it up. I said, no, just trust me, man. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I got this. So, you know, me as a producer, I already know what he was feeling. So it was just like, okay. So I did it. When I sent it, I said, I'm going to make you eat your words. And I sent it to him. And he was like, oh, you know, so. Yeah, man. So that's that's how that happened. That's how I came R&B singer. As an R&B singer, what separates me from other R&B singers? It's just my story. I think my story is that, you know, my life is different. You know, just me being homeless, me being on the streets. You know, a lot of other artists, you know, some of them are homeless too. But I think we all have different stories, different walks, you know, in life. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that makes our story different. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. My name is Bros and I'm down with TUK. So together, TUK came together from my dog, Mr. Woods. He had a crazy idea to put four of the hottest niggas together to form a super group, T.
T-U-K. You know, we would go out do shows and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga Woods invited me out, invited my, you know, niggas went out, showed out. Woods liked it. He had an idea, like, let's get it popping. I introduced him to Just K. They knew each other, but they ain't really knew each other like that. So, Just K and I met Kirk through Woods, and that nigga Kirk is on fire. Hot fire. Kingston style. Where I'm from and what inspired me to do music, I am from Charlotte, North Carolina. Babies for USA. You already know what it is and what inspired me to do music, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my whole family has been in music forever. My dad, brother used to sing with the stylistics. You know what I'm saying? My brother DC always played in the band. You know, my family, you know, stayed doing things, you know, like most typical black street families, doing things, selling drugs, whatever. But regardless of what, music was always around. Whenever the lights was off and we ain't had no food to eat and we cook on the fireplace, my mama had batteries in the radio. Music helped us get through it all. So regardless of what we going through, I'm on my knees at six years old with the plies turning the water back on. Music was in the house. So it was everything with music. It wasn't nothing particular. Music is life. It's a way to get over things. Music helps you move through. So it was just life. Or Well, starting in Charlotte, you know, I was like 14, 15. You know what I'm saying? I used to go to Battle on WPG. Um, incognito, shout out to my man Incognito, used to have something called the Uptown Freestyle Cypher. And you know what I'm saying? I used to be battling or whatever in school, you know what I'm saying? Independence High School, all that good stuff. But I really went up to the radio station, Incognito, let me call in one day to do the battle over the phone. Call, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because I used to battle in school, I really, it really wasn't serious, but. You know what I'm saying? When I called in and I won the first battle, and he was like, yo, you got to call up next week and battle. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, shoot. So I called. That's how my names got out. First of all, in the streets, I was the winner of the Uptown Freestyle Cycle. With me and they land on you. Heard to them niggas at the six. That money caller. I really wanted you to sign with a nigga.